Hey, what's up, stackers? Lone Silver Stag here, and I wanted to throw up a video today. I wasn't really planning on doing a video uh, until tomorrow, um, but I got something in the mail today, this silver bar here, and I want to talk about it because I have to return it tomorrow. So I wanted to talk about it before I had to return it. And I'll get to that in a second. Uh, other than that, this is going to be a short video, uh, really just talking about one topic. Uh, before we get to that, uh, I want to show you something I got. I've already talked about AG stacking in the past. I got something from him before off Instagram, uh, AG stacking. So if you ever are in the market and want to try looking on Instagram, he's definitely a good person to buy from. Solid dude. Uh, these are stage coach silver is what it says at the top for when you have to get out of Dodge. So you got four of them. What I thought was really cool about these is on the back, they are made to be split into fourth ounce. So you have full bars, but you also have fractional silver. I don't know how easy they are to split apart because I've never split them apart and I'm not going to try yet. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll think about it enough. But yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. I've only seen a few designs out there. There's probably a bunch of the ones that are breakable, uh, but I thought it was pretty cool. Nice cowboy Dodge City theme. So it's got four of those. Uh, so just wanted to show you guys those real quick. Um, so... The topic that I wanted to talk about real quick is toning. So toning, it, I'll just read this to you on this website I'm going to use for something else. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, toning is this color you see around the bar. See how it's darker and then it kind of turns to light. And I'm going to take it out of this package in a, in a minute. So toning it says as coins age they develop a natural patina known as tone collectors and dealers sometimes attempt to remove this toning and restore a coin shine while novice collectors may prefer this cleaner look serious collectors know that removing a coin's natural coloring and can significantly decrease a coin's value in fact a lot of times the toning increases the value of the bar or round or coin or whatever it may be. Uh, but artificial toning is also a thing and it can um, be done a couple different ways. But the one I mainly want to talk about is chemical toning, uh, because I think that is what was done to this. Uh, artificial toning is a no, no, you don't want to do that. Uh, you just want it to be natural. There's some things that can speed up the process of toning. I believe one of them, someone told me is if you put it in like a paper envelope, like one of those small manila envelopes that flip, have a flip lid on them, uh, you can put, put it in there for years and it'll speed up the process. I don't know, I'm not planning on doing it. I, someone just briefly had mentioned that once. Uh, but then there's uh, artificial toning as well. So as soon as I saw it, the, my first thought is, this is too perfectly toned. I mean, it's just like perfect around the edge, fades right into right around the buffalo, same with on the back, right around into the center. Um, but I thought, I, I don't know much about toning, toning and toners. I just haven't been educated with it that much. Um, but this isn't really uh, about teaching you as much as it is about maybe figuring this out together. Uh, please definitely leave comments in the bottom, whatever you think uh, about the toning. Uh, any, uh, any advice you have to tell if it's fake as well. But I went to this website here. And it says signs that a coin may have been artificially toned. So first thing it says hairline scratches on the coin surface can indicate cleaning with an abrasive chemical or brush. So I looked it over. There is not one 
scratch on this bar. It's actually quite a nice bar. Um, and it had great pictures and it looks just like the picture. But when I got it and looked closer, it's more easy to tell that it may be artificially, Jesus, artificially toned. Let's try not to get a hole in this glove like all my other ones. All right, so take it out of there so you can see it better. Um, so no scratches. Second thing it says, a dark brown or bluish hue often comes from chemical toning. It's going to be really hard for you to see too much on my camera. I don't have my upgraded camera yet. Uh, it'll be a little bit before I can get that, uh, but we'll just deal with this for now. Uh, but it's like a real deep dark blue around the coin's edge. Try to get it in the light there. And as that blue gets more towards the center around here, it's more of a brown color. So I do see a brown bluish hue to it. Uh, then I went to the next, uh, next tip. It says spots often appear on an artificially toned surface, coin surface, if the chemical reacts unevenly. You just hold this with this glove. I got, like I said, I got to return this, so I don't want to have any reason why I can't return it. I'll do the back. Um, so spotting. When you look close, again, you probably won't be able to tell on my camera, but up here, there is like a void spot of toning. So it's like tone perfect all the way around. But right here, it didn't get toned. So I thought that was strange. And then a little bit over here, it's light. But all over, here, 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 there, tons of little blemishes. And it almost looks like if you take spray paint and you spritz something, it'll hit and then leave little splotches. Those little blank splotches are all over the place. So I really think that this was artificially toned, which is not what I wanted. Um, I, I just want something legit. And I thought it might be because this bar is made in the 70s. So I, I, I did, when viewing the pictures, think it was uh, legit. But uh, also with toning, uh, you may, you'll get different reactions on each side, typically. So this one is almost identical. This pattern around down to a less pattern faded down and then none in the middle same with back here a little bit more but it gets almost a perfect oval around the middle uh, let's see the next thing it says toning achieved by application of heat or chemicals usually lacks depth and gains more pastel hues all around here you can see very well shine through the coloring. Most things that I've seen toned don't still shine underneath the toning. There's more, it's more flat. This has the same exact shine across the entire thing. Um, next, sulfur compounds grant more natural hues, but the colors tend to blend well. That doesn't apply here. Splotchy or uneven coloring usually results from a poorly executed artificial tone. I really think that that's what this is. It's more of a, a poor man's toning. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I, I messaged the guy. He works at, he owns a coin shop and he's on Etsy. I've ordered from him before and I've had no issues. I did just fine on buying from him. Uh, but when I messaged him and told him I wasn't expecting an artificially toned bar, so I wanted to do a return, he said that was fine. Sorry, I wasn't sorry you are not happy. We'll do a return. However, that bar is not artificially toned. I'm not gonna argue. I, I Jeff definitely don't want problems. Uh, but either he's lying, which I would be surprised, or 
he honestly thinks this is toned. But, you know, I could be totally wrong as well. That's why when I make these videos, they're not so much to come on here and tell everybody how everything is and edu put a lot of education on you because I'm learning. This is more of just a discussion of my process through stacking and, and how I'm doing through the process. And this is just something that happened to come up today. So, yeah, leave me what you think in the comments, uh, especially if, if you know a lot about it, because I, I'm just not sure. I mean, in my mind, all things point to yes, especially these, I'm touching it, especially the top where it's like blank in this one spot and then those splotches all over, I just don't think it's, it's legit. Uh, but yeah, if you happen to get really uh, nice, rounds or bars that are naturally toned people will pay good premiums for those so hang on to them i i prefer mine to be shiny and more perfect like this one um i just don't prefer things to have toning unless i happen upon one for good price and i know i can resell it i'll grab it but for now i i just like mine to look nice and clean and i thought it was a good price on this but that's probably why so yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk to you about that, bring it up before I send it back tomorrow, but I will be returning it uh, again. Tell me what you think at the bottom. I'm not sure what we'll do next video. Um, I gradually get some things in the mail I might show, uh, but I also want to maybe pick a topic and discuss that as well um, after this toning topic. Um, not sure what we'll go with, but uh, yeah, I'll see you next video, guys. Take care. Keep stacking.